Thanks, Gretchen. Uh, good morning. It's my, it my great pleasure to have this opportunity to introduce our research on exam services assessment and post application in China. My presentation topic is mainstream exam services in policy making in China. Actually, we work with natural capital for the last uh, 20, uh, 10 years. We work together to push what happened in China. Yeah, here is just the main content, what I want to talk. Yeah, China just graduated mentioned that environment is facing increasing challenge from the huge population and faster urbanization and uh, mass, massive natural resource exploitation. You can imagine how each year coal mining about 7.7 7 billion tons in China almost half of the total in the world. And the fresh water bill during about the severe hand, more than 700 billion cubic meters for each year. And excess service decline and the life of the habit lost is the main, top, has the main challenge in China recently. Yeah, in China, to harmonize people and nature and building build the ecological civilization of the 21st century as the main component of China's dream. Just make it see that push it very heavily in China. The key issue is how to coordinate conservation and development. It may include the three main major questions in China. First, where we must protect to ensure sustainable supply of exam services, and how to achieve natural capital conservation and poverty alleviation and how to evaluate development achievements a lot on the GDP. We need to act exceeds provide a lot of the essential for our well-being, actually. But a long time, we're not counting in our uh, ability system. And this is our main framework. From exam services, from size, we develop the evaluation methods, exam services, which are not have to work together. And we also give, have the China exam survey assessment and the map the exam service is part of China. And then link the exam services with the policy making and innovation, like ecological protection strength, key ecological functioning zone, and so on. I will talk later. And here we just introduce the map exam services, exam services of China. Yeah, China, we have the exam survey assessment in China in the 2013. The scale of provincial, regional, and national scale. And we use the modern sensor data about more than 20 images for 2000, 2005, 2010, and 2015, not 2015. Every five years, we have the assessment for China how to change. And we have to grant to choose more than 100 sites all of China. And the most important, we have the model and approach invest model to support our or the data integration. It is most important, with so, so many data, so big data, how to process it, how to make it for the information to support the decision, as a, a decision support. And this is a, a little bit of result. In China, we had grassland, for global land, that comprise more than 83%, or almost 83% of the total area of China. You know, grassland about 30% of China, and forage about 20%, and collaborate almost 20%, and so on. And we can make uh, urban only three percent, less, a little bit less than three percent of China, but more than half of people live in the city in this small uh, passage of uh, a region of the land. And this is a change of existing competition pattern. We can the forage increase a little bit, and collaborate decrease a lot. And the urban area increased very, very quickly. And mainly in the land use, uh, extreme pattern change in the urbanization region, crop land expansion region, and the forest restoration region. And this is the three main driving forces currently in China um, that drive the China extreme pattern and quality change. And we mapping the special pattern in some services for the full production carbon sequestration, soil retention, sandstorm prevention, water retention, flood mitigation, and uh, habitat prevention, and so on, to identify the crucial area uh, to, for exam services prevention. And uh, this is also, we have driver 
in the last 15 years, how the change, the region of extreme improved. Actually, most extreme services is improved once exception of the habitat of biodiversity. The reason is very funny. The reason is a surprise to us because China make too much, much effort to artificial plantation for, for forests, change from the nature forest to the artificial habitat. That is one reason. And we, after that, we link the extreme services to policy making. Yeah, first we identified the crucial area for extreme services in China. We can follow this figure, we can show the table shows about 75 land with a high level of the extreme services and about provide more than 60% exism regulating services. This area just is a very important area we need to protect for provision of extreme services. And uh, we identify the conservation gap where we, we, we have protected by naturalism, by other protected area, like protected area is where we not protected well. And then we have the, uh, then we based on the depiction, the important level of these services, plant ecological protection red line as a crucial area to ensure ecological security of China. The very important uh, Area are planned as ecological protected red line is the EPR. So about 35 percent of total of China, they can provide about more than 60 percent of the services. And also applies important level of extreme services in the national protected priority region and the key ecological functional conservation area. We just ask the question from decision maker, where we must protect, where we can use for opposition. This Africa is area we must protect. And also uh, combines the basic patterns, exam distribution, wide level distribution, and exam services. We plant planted the national park system of China and provided the blueprint for the new natural protected system in China. Actually, natural, natural park in American part is uh, more than 100 years ago have built up, but in China, it's new things. Actually, China used to be built up a natural reserve, but now we combine the nature, uh, natural park system into China. So we have, have to make this, this, uh, uh, print, uh, this system for the government. And also we identified the country, counties, counties, and their primary exam services in key ecological factor region. And the mo almost 300 countries was added in the list in the key AFCAS and the region by the city council in 2016. And these countries mainly focus on conservation, not for how the development. And also, uh, in order to push conservation in the key ecological uh, function areas, Sanjay Gam the launch ecological funding transfer program based in some service department. The budget was increased very rapidly. You can, in the first year, 2008, at 6 billion. And to the six, uh, the, the, the year before last year, about almost 60 billion. It's 10 times from around 10 years. And all the provinces in China has a map in services and identify the local exam function conservation areas. Exam services based pattern was also based for urban mass planning and the regional land use planning in many cities like Beijing, Guangzhou, and later Shenzhen were talking as well. And at the same time, we had the post study and also we had investment in net capital in China as a very go very quick, uh, quickly. China has made great efforts in the ecosystem conservation and the restoration. Just a great mention as actually there were many types of the restoration program, like a green to green, natural forest conservation program, severe loss, short forest program, yeah, short a little bit. For, for example, national forest conservation program, about 900 countries in 18 provinces involved, and that the budget and the 360 billion, and for the last uh, more than 10 years. And the slope of land conservation, and the Green to Green program, just great to mention that almost, almost all the pro countries in the mountain area involved, about a six, a 400 billion in a budget, uh, budget, and the nine, and the beneficial household, about 32 billion, 
51 county involved it altogether about 45 billion involved it and they and the castle region extreme restoration area in that area is also for the castle area is a very sensitive to home activity and the rock of local diversification area and the poetry the government pushed it by restoration to ecological ecological restoration and the poetry elevation together for, in this program and the next step I will give me the very short about that's what what, what what now we are doing in, with science and policy together. Your faster growth excellent products are counting. A region or city is a car is a carbon and human and nature system, uh, consider for social, economic and natural subsystem actually. Of, yeah, uh, China as well as most country need the index or system to avoid the contribution of excellent to well human being welfare and a factor of natural conservation efforts and the performance of a local government or community in natural conservation, particularly in China. So we propose with the natural couple together, like Guizhi, Steve, and all together, Mary, who work together for almost three, four years now, and propose a gross extra product, the total value exceeding final goods and services, supply the home well-being in a region annually, like a county, province, a city, something like that. So in society, generally we use HDI to how to evaluate the status of the human development. We use the GDP as economic in performance. Now we hope how, if possible, we use the GDP to evaluate the extreme provision and uh, contribution to human welfare. And the GDP accounting can be a potential tool to link extreme service variation to conservation policy. Now, the China is studying GB accounting method and the technical guideline at the national, provincial, and the county level. And the part of the study was a wide depression all over China in the from different areas. You know, so China is very big, and the different areas have different ecosystem situation. So we use the different areas to a pilot study. And the next second is urban ecology restoration. China is a rapid urbanization process, more than 30 million people move to the city from a rural area to the city annually. It means every year so many people. City also face a huge challenge like urban, spatial, exploration, loss of control, air pollution, water shortage, inner city flooding, biodiversity loss, a lot of things, and also contribute to climate change. And China is implementing a 15-year program like urban ecological survey and assessment and urban ecological restoration. And later, after me, the presentation and the prof, uh, Zhang, Ms. Zhang will give the case in Shenzhen how to do that. And the major goal of the cooling environment, environmentally friendly interaction between urban and the surrounding area. The major me measures enhance existing services in built area. That's why we work with NetBot together to develop urban invest. In China, we would like to pilot study in the main major city like Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Dalian work together. And the last one, another one to the coastal area change rapidly in China. So China is a very long coastal region, but still meet another the problem like coastal weather loss rapidly. And the cultural cha cha challenge for the cultural area is wildlife have the loss, cause erosion, and the vulnerable to climate change, particularly the sea level rising. And the cultural challenges to change like urbanization, agriculture, recommendation, uh, reclamation, and so on. So in, in this wetland protection, we need to uh, some service variation, cause wetland reducing and ecological compensation. And the last one, marketing, mechanism of natural capital. The government have budgeted hundreds of billions in ecological restoration and conservation, and will likely vastly increase in near future. Government would like to improve the efficiency, effectiveness, poverty elevation, 
So it, it initiated a new policy at the mechanism to push the government private partnership for natural capital investment and the no natural capital funding. Here at the Chinese delegation, there's a pilot city like Fuzhou and Lishui and Guizhou in different places in China, like to start this kind of mechanism. And also I would thank natural capital work together for more than 10 years. And the Chinese Academy of Science and other of the other government agencies work together to push this kind of the science and the post work together. Thank you.